Hi, my name is uh, Frederick Blechnot and I'm bringing your daily blitz with you today. I'm busy going through Psalm 1 and uh, in our previous daily blitzes we spoke about uh, Psalm 1 verse 1 which speaks about blessed is the one who does not walk in the way of uh, the wicked people or doesn't take advice from the wicked or sit or, or stand with sinners or sit with mockers. I want to touch on what we should do. That is, verse 1 is what we shouldn't be doing, and verse 2 is now what we should be doing. And so, verse 2 speaks about his delight. His delight is in the law of the Lord. And he meditates on that law day and night. His delight is in the law of the Lord, and he meditates on it day and night. I want to touch on that, just that word delight. Have you ever been delighted with anything, you know, looking forward to something, you know, or looking forward to seeing someone or seeing something, be delighted when you, how many of you have heard good news? If I tell you today, hey, you're getting an increase this week, hey, that is wonderful, you, you, you are delighted, you, you, you know, um, you're getting uh, an increase and you are happy about that. I remember when I was a young child, my mom was working in a factory. And every single Friday, she, should, she, would, she would be payday and um, she would come back and she would bring out a packet of chips and we called it Pakidag, you know, that's Afrikaans, for a day where the chips came and we were so excited. My mother always brought a little yogurt and chips, chips for me. And uh, I sort of grew up looking forward to Fridays because Fridays were paydays. Uh, I'm delighted. I, I was waiting for my mama, I was delighted. Now the scripture here says, you must delight in the law of the Lord. I wonder how many of us are really happy to read the word of the Lord or happy to hear the word of the Lord, even in a Sunday sermon or, or when you, you're looking forward to the word of the Lord. And remember, I'm not talking about starting in Genesis and reading like a parrot, reading right, reading right through to Revelation, because there's a lot of ways how you can read the word of the Lord. There's a lot of ways you can, you can study the word of the Lord topically. You know, take the subject of faith, take the subject of the end times, take the subject of anything, of giving, of blessing, of uh, healing if you're sick in your body. And it can become an exciting thing. But how many of us delight, you look forward to get into the word of the Lord and study the word of the Lord. Now, a man who is prosperous, a man who is blessed, he delights in the law of the Lord. He delights in the law of the Lord. So I want to encourage you today, go out and be delighted. Look forward, delight in the word of God. I pray that God will give you a hunger uh, for the word of the Lord. Because that word of the Lord will sustain you through the tough times. It's a lamp unto your path and a light unto your feet. Let me pray. Father, thank you for your word. We, we know Psalm 107 says, He sent forth His word. And His Word healed us and saved us from destruction. We know that Your Word is a light unto our part and a lamp unto our feet. And Psalm 1 speaks about uh, uh, delighting in the law of the Lord. So help us to be excited. Help us to get a hunger and a desire for more of the Word. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. God bless you and enjoy the rest of the day.